Hi fam, it's Dylan's mum, Deborah. This is Dylan Friend. He gives you a back rub. This is, you know, you're going well, Brian. Oh, it's special. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just keep showing up and find a way. Cam was so nervous, he couldn't swallow water. Handed him a sheet of paper with six names and said, Chief, we've got to cut these six blokes. Wow, shut up. I've just been barbed by a stingray, mate. I'm just yelling, oh, you saved my life, you saved my life, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. I spent the last, I think it was a couple of weeks in jail. The deepest, darkest moments often bring about our biggest highs. Yes, welcome back to Footy Friends, Footy and Friends, mind you. We are Marlo, Brett Delidio, Tommy Sheridan, Footy and Friends. How are we, boys? We welcome. Good, good. Yeah. They're not notes for the show, so I don't have any notes, but I'm um, looking forward to it. Oh, good hey. to have you here, Mick. We were watching you on prime time yesterday. Yeah. Where are we boys stuck it up the yeah. dogs? Yeah, good on we you, did. Keegan. Keegan finished yeah, the job, he did. didn't he? Now, Mick, yeah, you've, uh, we've both had a haircut, and yeah. I think it might be both of our last one. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. That's good. That is good stuff, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> while, while we're in TV and kind of thinking cameras are pointing you out. You are us. looking very... Oh, your skin looks yeah. makeup. Yeah. What's... I come from come from the set, boys. I come, yeah. I come from the show. His 19th job. Cut a few. <laughs> in the last. H.E. Crossy a time. Go. Speaking of H.E., took him down yesterday. Footscrow versus Werribee. <laughs> didn't, yeah. ever, yeah. didn't really embarrass the footy club. You, know, you did. <laughs> <Shut time. laughs> Stop. No, I'm joking. Um, good to be here, though. Looking forward to digging into what's happened so far. Oh, yeah, yeah look, like I, I can't confirm we will be doing that, but we'll be having some fun <laughs> while we're here. Hey, um, thanks to Amy as well. When you have a clanger, Amy, have you covered? Now, mind you, I, I know there's a few clangers in our careers which I thought would go to off the top, but I thought there's probably – I don't know if we start with Sheridan because he might have one of the ones that tops it. So maybe no. go around. Have you got – what's your clanger in your career? Is anything stand out? Or, oh, yep. I um, kicked a goal at Geelong once. I think it was my second or third for the day, so not really a clanger. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> so, oh, oh, Jesus. The old clanger <laughs> in the I hear you talk about it a bit. Yeah. Right. This place goal, goal. <laughs> get him off, get him off. So I've run off. No worries. You know the camera pans to you yes. when you're um when you've kicked the goal and your stats pop up and so I was on the bench getting the calves run just calves and hammies Tom and I went to take the drink of the water bottle and as oh, I so went to go drink the water bottle it was around the wrong oh, way oh no and it was just water popped out that that's line. a on camera though they got that on slow mo yeah, as well yeah. what about you Trent? oh that's a real bad clanger that's a shit clanger if you're gonna ask me that's a clanger of a clanger. <laughs> Oh, it's just warming me up. <laughs> yeah, warm. What do you think tell, my clanger is? I'll tell you another shit one before we get into your clanger. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to nearly – people would go back and think my clang would be against Essendon um, when I kicked the point, but it was, I thought it was the goal well, and sort of good, celebrated. That's a good clanger. That, that was a good celebration. That, that, they would have thought that was it. I already know Brett's is when I took him to town on the MCG <laughs> and absolutely demolished him uh, the there. Watch. So he doesn't really need to he doesn't need to tell cool that one because that, that was that was a, that wasn't a clanger that was a career uh, finisher that one. <laughs> 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 when I took him down there, <laughs> 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 the Western Sydney. I'm not saying I'm not saying whose career ended from it. But someone's done. <laughs> 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 now he goes on weekend retreats on BMXs. He does. Now he goes mountain bike riding. So you can tell me who won that battle. But I was thinking off the top. <laughs> my clanger would have to be uh, up at Mackay. I think that day, <laughs> Mick, that we shared up there, we're playing in the in the Neeful. And um, mate, you jump in if you want to tell the story Remarkable. from your point of view because it was a car crash. But I've come in and midair tried to yeah. kick the ball off the ground. I, I've been taken. Out. The doctor said he it's he's seen worse sort of. Uh, not as bad car crashes as this for people of you know broken mm. legs. Mm. My femur's been taken out. They thought it was snapped into two. I got carried off by two people. Actually, I uh, had a suck of the green whistle. <laughs> thought it was that bad, and it uh, ended up being a corky. So, <laughs> it, was probably, it was a genuine like. Um, it's a big hit though. I must give it to you. Needful game. Gold Coast uh, GWS in Mackay in front of. 30 people. 30 people. Um, the, the pre, I reckon the pre-game had more people there absolutely. than our game. Curtain closer of like um, <laughs> Yapoon versus the Mackay <laughs> Warriors or something. Um, but, but where is Mackay, by the way? It's like central Queens. Like, never it's not back. where footy gets played. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, he gone in, like, yeah, a little bump. And I was on the bench at the time, and I was looking, I'm like, oh, that's actually quite serious. And I think I followed up after the game, like, oh, you're right, mate. And, but there's vision of him, double hooks. Like he's got the they had no train, stretcher left. Train to under it, and he's getting hooked no, off. Poor no, because <laughs> the, oh, yeah. a poor bloke had been stretched off before it. Um, he'd actually had a serious injury. He'd done his knee that was tizzy, and broke his leg. Yeah. Lucky Tiziani, oh, unbelievable play. Yeah. He, he hurt his leg. So unfortunate for him. I said, "Tiz, mate, like I need the fucking stretcher too. <laughs> I, I, I've got a corky here, son." And we ended up going in the uh, change rooms together. He had a broken leg, and we ended up sharing the uh, green whistle for a couple oh, socks. What a love footy gym on the stretcher <laughs> for a corky. <laughs> It's out there somewhere. But um, the, but the best part was is the next week 
in the NEFL, not that I was pressing my case to play in the seniors, but we had a bye. And I can tell you now categorically, there's no way I would have got up for that game. And I would have missed with a corky. Mm. But I kept to this day saying that, no, no, I would have played. There's no way I would have played. I, could, I couldn't walk. Mm-hmm. I could not walk. Yeah, it's a good clip. What about yours, man? I already told him. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You move on if you want. No. Brett no, didn't have many claims. No, no, yeah, it's a pretty clean play. No, I, yeah, mine was off field. <laughs> was clean. Yeah, clean. I tried to um, uh, stitch up Battle Bryant, who was my uh, locker buddy, and thought I'll play a practical gag on him. Grabbed his uh, car key, dipped it in a bit of tuna, thinking it still stink like tuna. It'd be a fucking great gag. Anyway, it's a, got a computer in it, so I ended up cooking it. Cost me eight hundred dollars. He couldn't open his car, couldn't start, couldn't get home that night. Eight hundred clams to. Yeah, uh, oh, it's a shit. Did he take it? Tell me what it done. I didn't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is, well, I, I denied it. His car, not his. <laughs> I, I denied <laughs> it for ages. He left our WhatsApp group. He said, "No, nah, fuck you, blokes. I'm out." Oh, so yeah. we kicked up the sting. Yeah, kicked up the sting. And, and then the said, Richmond culture oh, changed. They got rid of the video. Yeah. They started winning flags. They started winning flags. Oh, that's it. That's it. No, that's too much. Hey, me on biking. Me on biking is where we cut the line. No, you took that too far. That was a clean up. Oh, I'm done. Tommy, I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. We've all, we've all nearly been, nearly been there. Tommy. Don't compare yourself to Brett. Now, <laughs> any us- prelims you played in? Oh, I played. Oh, my- oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Mickey. Prelims. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a clanger, so we don't really want to talk about prelims. Yeah, oh, that wasn't a chesty. It was. Didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> was it well, just before we get in? Uh, you tell the story, but was there a bit of a? No, oh, there was no turtle. There was no turtle. There was no, no, no need to. There's no one behind. That's me. why there, it, it was the, weird. It was, if there was, uh, a turtle. It was the footwear. Slip, I actually. Uh, what was those Crocs? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. You know, Bruce, you got the longest yard. A little bit of pop on. Break down a little bit of pop on. Let's explain to the listeners what this actually is before we start talking about it. So set the set the tone of your. I think everyone knows, especially if you're from you're a Hawthorne fan, but um and a Fremantle fan. Uh yeah, prelim big game. I mean, there's a lot of mistakes, and we won't talk yeah. about blokes that miss easy goals, but it would have been nice if they kicked them oh, straight because this wouldn't be a big issue, would it? <laughs> um, essentially, 10-9 Mazunga gets it. Like we're at, you know, T2 Thursday in Fremantle, yeah. switches it. Who's there? Put a bit of air on it, though, didn't he? The train. Good. Yeah, of course he did. I mean, mate, we've done it a thousand times. How many reps do you do at train? Switch the ball out the open side. I don't know what he's done, but he's he's wiped the ball on himself. It's all slippery. Like he's put all this grip, of, like no grip on it. Got oil on there oh, or something. Something, mate. Something. <laughs> bit of Bobby on there. Wasn't it? <laughs> bit of popcorn. And he's kicked it. Anyway, and Sir Rioli's behind me. I've lost my footwear, what? so I told Nike, "See you later." They'll go out of that for next year. And uh, the ball went through my hands, tripped over. Oh, man, it was—I think it was the worst three seconds of my life. It was like everything, like you know, it was so three quarter. Uh, just listen, listen. Quarter. When I was a kid, I was in the grass, you know, James Heard <laughs> snapping around the boundary line, you know, using me bloody trees as goals, thinking one day I'll win a flag. And the ball's gone through my hands. Cyril picks it up, kicks it. They're up by fourteen points. There's only six minutes, eight minutes to go, Mick, and. Mm. I've just blown it no, for you, the free you, you hardly dropped it by the time Sil Rioli picked it up, kicked the goal. Oh, so just, yeah, the there's one bit. bloke behind you. You just don't want him. And then David Hale's given me that much lip afterwards. And uh, what do you know? David's me bloody coach the next year. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, oh, he's one of the best blokes going around. It was just a basket case. So that's me. Talk us through, in all seriousness, talk us through the, after the game. How was your Twitter feed going? Yeah, back I was saying then? social media, that's what hurt me probably the most because I'm a, I'm a lover of people. Mm. I've did a lot for everyone, but I just had that much coming in. Oh, and as you can imagine, I mean, I'd probably be doing the same, but <laughs> it was just, it was coming in frequently and I have to delete, I to delete Twitter. I've deleted Twitter. Like I've got a burner account just to see what's going on, but I've got no Twitter. Um, and then even Instagram, like there was that much stuff coming in. Like I was in New York probably a month later, just, you know, with my mates having a beer and it's just like 50 comments like, you suck, you <laughs> fucking <Sorry>. suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't, mate. You've got to move on. The, but, um, yeah. the purple but haze was, have a long memory, don't they? Well, the thing is, I actually played all right. It wasn't, it was just, the, it's, that's why I feel sorry for anyone that has that moment and you miss it, which is fine. You put yourself there, but it was, um, it's the biggest claim that, going around, man. And you'd see it with like the player management side of things quite, like, and social media. So poor old club content creators have to create ongoing content for oh, the game. Yes. Mm. And there's games at the moment like, I think the Freo example. Freo played Gold Coast a few weeks ago. Freo down by five goals at halftime. And it's like, not our half, you know. That's the heading. Not our half. Boys need a lift. The comments. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Get rid of him. Get yeah, rid of him. He's so coaches, funny, coaches yeah. Coach is cooked. Game plan, what's that? And then full time, win by 10 points. Like, boys, res- boys come back and win. And then like, same within people. a half, same yeah. people would be, they'd be deleting the comments first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a fickle industry. So how do it you is. like on a quite serious? Now, how do you handle like the player mentality? What's your advice around social media and whatnot? 
Uh, it's a hard one because you're really trying to build boys' brands, you know, and that's where social media is their best access for brands, but also, um, you know, fans and supporters and whatever else. So it, it is, you've got to take the good with the bad with it, I think. But, um, Try not, I wouldn't be posting after a stinker. But I've got I some advice. I turned the comments off. What do you do with no, no, clubs? Clubs pull just, back, maybe. Just take it in hand. <laughs> yeah. Son, just take it clean. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you were doing in the backyard again. Oh, Jimmy Hurd. <laughs> Jimmy Hurd. Do you know, you could actually do what my uh, my mates, uh, my, my old school, old Ivano do, and they put up stories of the footy game. So start of the game, you have the boys warming up, quarter time, they give the score. And you know after that they've lost if they don't post anything yeah. for half time and yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to ask. Yeah. There's just no post left. Yeah. And if they win, oh, yeah. there's there's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So it's great. Um Carlton turned theirs off on the weekend. Carlton did, mate. And yeah. that's that when you I, were saying that then, I, I do follow Carlton obviously. Um, on Instagram and oh geez, there's some the there's supporters, some supporters are ringing there. the radio this morning saying I can't believe they won't leave their comments on. We want to tell them how we feel. Oh, they turned they, the comments off. Did they, they turned them off. You so know what's can't, funny can't to the supporters one. out there now? Look, we love the supporters. They make the the world mm. go round. But I'll tell you now. You can leave a comment. I'll tell you what, Brett, uh, Michael Voss, he isn't reading them. So, you're like, <laughs> as much as you want to give some feedback, it's not getting but here's some feedback. to any If you're a real supporter. But he's a full-time coach. Yeah, you but if be- you're a real supporter, a real one, I'm li- anyone out there that's actually coming, if you're a real supporter, you're not lagging your, the blokes that you love, are you? Yeah, that's yeah I think you can. If you're a real supporter, and you can't be going about- publicly and saying, suck him, Drop him. Well, you got you I, I like the passion in oh, it, mate. D- yeah, private DM's fine. Not on a social I don't media. Think private DM. I think you'd rather it public private than DM. private DM, to be <laughs> honest. private DM, sign Griffin Logue. It's all right. Well, I don't think... Like, <laughs> I, in all seriousness, though, like, let's get let's get a fair income about this now. So we've all been players, um, some better than the others. And uh, how do you see the game now? When we were playing, it was obviously like, fucking hell. Like, in, you know, I hope I can speak for everyone here. You're like, supporters, like, we're fucking trying, obviously. Like, mm. we don't go out there to lose a game. Mm. But now being on the other side of the fence, you support a team and you watch them and very quickly, even the Giants and Carlton, the mates of ours, all our boys, Fremantle, and you watch them and you go, fucking hell, boys, like, get it done. Mm-hmm. So we can see both sides of it. What do you think now is a appropriate way to support or, like, educate each other on it? Because I can tell you now to supporters out there that are disappointed in a loss, you might be disappointed in that loss for 24 hours, you go to work, you go to your family. The teams wear that for the whole fucking week. Mm. Like they, after the game, they review it on Monday. They get sprayed on Tuesday. Wednesday's dog shit, and then you start it's turning like the Avicii, Avicii song. Oh, it's a, it is, and then you try and on by Thursday you're coming around to try and get happy again. Like it's not like mm. they're losing and just forgetting about it. Mm. Like I, don't, I know they know that, but it's a hard one. Yeah, well, you need. In the, the, yeah. What was the question there, by with, the way? No, it wasn't it's a question. Yeah, question. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah, what what comes with passion comes. Um, yeah, the emotional investment. So I think just education to the to the fans. I, I I'd love yeah fans to be able to under or do something at a heart rate of 160 to 180 and not like have to make split second decisions. All of that. That's the stuff I reckon. With first year out in my playing days, that you had great empathy for. Mm. And second year and and then the longer you're out and you're watching with your yeah your, your bum on the seat and your heart rate down and watching you think how aren't they making that. Especially from elevation. Yourself, yeah, you've got to take How yourself, easy is it from elevation? Back to that moment of do anything at 160 to 180 heart, uh, beats per minute um, and then have to make that execution of skill or decision in that moment, um, then there should be a level of empathy. But, yeah, the balance of balance of passion, I don't think we'll ever have, have an answer for. No, it. I don't think there is either because there's actually – I'm not sitting here going, you know, boo-woo mm. all these like footy players. I think like – You've got to be hard. Like, there is right to be hard on them 100%. Like, Carlton, for example, at the moment, because we're just talking about it, they are not performing at a level that's good enough for them at the moment. But what do you... Yeah, but you Just know what it comes. It comes with expectations. So yeah. the way you're riding, like Giants right now, we know they're a younger list. So yeah. you're watching them. To be honest, besides on the weekend and maybe they're a game competing. against Essen, they compete every week. So yeah. you watch it and you go, I'm, "You're proud of their yeah. effort, right?" Um, same uh, Fremantle. I, I, I get real frustrated because I had high hopes for them this year, and they're just slowly getting going now. So you you get real emotional because you're like I expected this and I'm getting that but when you get as I said maybe with Carlton everyone's getting really angry because they've lost however many on a row mm. they're playing some good teams at the moment by the way so they're a bit stiff and they've got Collingwood coming up but the expectations are so high so everyone's emotion is like it should be high though I know, no, I know, yeah. no, I, I, yeah. I know it is and that's why you're probably getting really upset because you're not <clears> meeting the expectation mm. so that's probably a little bit but um, and that's why that's probably fair enough. But you can't be pounding teams like West Coast who've got half their in, like mm. players injured. Oh, wait till don't speak too soon. I'm going at them today. No, nah, but if you're going to go, I'm it's like they've got them. no. <laughs> no, nah, okay, but, but, but hear me 
two fucking years, okay, mate. Yeah, three. No, no, three? No, three. Three. How the fuck? But they've got we're on West they Coast, got, mate. No, 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 no. no. They've got ten out. I don't give a shit. How the Drew's hell? Do some Legend, buddy. Do some No, I don't. <laughs> tell me, but, like, listen, how the hell? How, like, I don't live in WA, so I don't know what goes on in their newspapers. You, you, oh, you're on the front page Dope, every day. Dople Street. What's going on there, mate? <laughs> North like, Fremantle. How are we skipping over West Coast at the moment? They, no, they're coming. They're come, I think they're coming front and centre. Are they coming front? Quickly. Well, it's been two years. They, yeah. they literally, I, I, I don't want to throw heads on. You know what? Fuck it, I'm throwing heads on tables. Who is after the um, the first people to go to footy clubs are normally the high performance stuff? How do you have that many injuries? Yeah. How do you do it? And there is a mixture. I've looked into this. There's a mixture of soft <laughs> tissue and. Um, there, but a lot of them are impact. Like the well, there's broken there's wrist, wasn't it, on the weekend? Yeah, broken can't wrist. Control but, wrist. But the the no. one I would throw up is um, their salary cap. Most of it goes to McGovern and Nat Nui. Tim Kelly. Tim, Tim Kelly. Kelly. He's playing pretty well. Nat Nui, I couldn't could remember the three games he's played in the last three years. I want Nat Nui to go to Collingwood. He just is. I think he's done. He's never out there. Okay. Is I, he? Yeah, well, I think <laughs> where, where they've gone is that they Colin sold, sure. sold the farm essentially to try and get uh, Tim Kelly and yeah, have another crack at it. Now he knows. Now there's yeah. their, they missed their development years of two or three players because they gave up how many draft four, first round? Three? Three, three drops. But they've got three like first, uh, Gibney, yeah. you know, Chesa. Jimby. Yeah, but Jimby. that's only he's, he's his first year. He's played no, six No, I know. They've still been able to get some. Chesa hasn't he's played. the only one. Jimby yeah. at the moment that you look oh, at and say. Don't forget about my boy. Jermaine Jones. Jermaine Jones. He's the only one. Jimby. He's gone okay, Jermaine Jones. but. Now, J- Jimby is the only one you look at at the moment that's like he's a next 10 to 12 year player. Yeah. The, the, they haven't got any others in the side. Campbell Chester hasn't played, so you don't yeah. know. So and then it could be. Brett and, and, um, <clears throat> and Mick, you guys know this then, okay? There's this. Brett, Brett, Mick. No, no, because Brett, Mick. No, no, no. I'll just go fuck myself. No, because you, I don't know. all the time, don't you? Well, I'm not sure if this is in our expertise. That's yours, what I'm asking you for. Sorry, I'll speak for myself. Brett, Tommy, Mick, speak to me Speak to me on this. Your name is my first dog. How do you sell a shit pair of sunnies is what I'm doing. <laughs> you gotta give them away. That's for sure. No, that's right. Rick's doing friends. Go put him in his place. Him. <laughs> How? Who? Who's under pressure? Then, if you look at West Coast for that decision, because yeah. again, this is Carlton's been under this. So many teams have been under this pressure of like list pre builds. They've done the wrong thing. Da, 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 da. With West Coast, is it? Because from all reports, Adam Simpson's a, a, an awesome coach. Yeah, you're only he coached the same, Premiership. Yeah, good things. You only hear good things about him. Like. You don't think, you know, winning a premiership in 2018 to now, it's been hard for him with the cattle in the park to do it. So does he go somewhere else next year? Who is – is it the list management? Is it the high-performance staff? Like what happens in that oh, case? I, I, is I don't, Simpson's man, uh, contract still another two years. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, it's watertight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, boys, check your con- – this is Russell Lyon, right? Check your contracts, boys. Mine's watertight. <laughs> <laughs> Mine wasn't. No, I don't remember that. Flaky. Mine was water loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was, yeah, I was out that year. I yeah, like, I think I was after you. <laughs> Good, he had two. We had none. Um, anyway, does it matter? No, he'll be all right. Who do you think goes? I mean, clearly yeah. they need new everything or they need, they need someone's going to be a cannibal. But if you look at everything, and list management, so it starts with list management. I would have thought. Sorry, John, just chop the head off the club. Well, okay, we're not talking about left, West Coast. We're just talking about in general. At the moment, they're front of mind. But this is for clubs in general, just to actually talk about it as yeah. a whole list. Who's in charge of this shit? You've got to remember they've got – but I still think – do you know how many injuries they've got? No, 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 no answer no, my question. They're, mate, they're trying to get players from but, fucking Neeful to go and fill in. Exactly. That's what I'm like being struck. Ne- Neeful's, Neeful's but how does that struck by yeah, injury? But that's happened for two years in a row. Yeah, but that's so unlucky, don't you think? But it's got to have more to do with just like oh, – I think Brett's point's well matched, right? The The – Drafting, they should even with all these injuries, they should have three or four Ruben Jinbies. Yeah, or for, is that EWA boys? should have EWA. twenty to thirty games out yep. there. And and they're getting better. But so I, I think this is what a crystal ball. They're gonna they're just gonna ride the wave for the rest of the year and get to the end of the year. And Adam Simpson will, you know, he's got two more years contract. We're going to the draft. We're bringing in six players. We're going to play them for the next two years. And Simpson's in a great position then because yeah, the expectation yeah. drops. Mm. Um, and they, they'll yeah. probably bounce quicker than people are expecting. And um, They'll just have to ride the wave. In Saturday, so I think if someone has to go, or there's, you you think there has to be a casualty off the back of this? Oh, I, look, I'm not. I don't, he's he's I, calling for it. I, I just think I'm calling for him. What are the right? expectations of West Coast this year? I had him at the bottom, mate. See, the thing is, and you would have known this if you remember what I said. But last year, I think I, last year I had him. Before the injury, so it might have been the year before. You had him at the top. I had him winning the flag because they're the, – <laughs> No, but I mean, that's your expectations. They'll never – No, but think about it, mate. Two years ago before they had these Do injuries you know and had repeating. <laughs> he had him up there. Up there. <laughs> he had him up Two there. years ago before they – and I don't care if anyone doesn't agree with this, but before they had injuries, you look at their list, right, after they won that to that – I think of 
and I'm thinking that as a West Coast fan, I'd be the most disappointed in that club from 2018 to now because they should have won three flags with who they had. Is that and fair? That, and that's why they doubled down and got Tim Kelly. Yeah. They thought they were in that window too, but mate, things mm. change. COVID. Yeah, okay. I didn't really. Yeah, COVID. Absolutely. I'm saying this is a West Coast supporter, mind. Yeah. I don't want to be. They uh, just lost. Know. All, all their structures gone, man. They got they no keys. All, all their keys have been banged up. Uh, they've lost obviously Kennedy. You got to remember all these stuffs. Like they've lost some talent on the field yeah, okay. with injury. Moving on, moving on. So you're on the bottom. Bottom. What are we talking now? We're talking tops. Or well, actually, first we're staying down the line. Yeah. Who do you want to talk about? Well, I did want to bring up one thing that. Um, was looks like it's actually heading that trend. Was you would have remembered early in the year? Can we play that snippet, Dust? If you lose a grand final by over fifty points, mm. you don't make the top eight the next yeah. year. Well, very good. Speaking of injuries, you know you've, you've got well, you've gone on a rant about West Coast Mick, injuries. If I didn't get injured, I would have played three hundred and won a brand. <laughs> like, you see me complaining about it. Like, oh, well, West Coast have lost a lot. Brett, Brett's good at this. You can't stuff, talk about injuries Sydney last man. year. Yes, I think we're they're over t- Yeah, we're a. Fifth eight side, yeah. they? but then yeah. they got going. Yeah, and, got on a roll. Got on a roll, make a granny Confidence, and get absolutely kids, yeah. obliterated. Um, and now they've kind of gone, yeah, injury, a bit of unlucky, like un, some unlucky circumstance. They drop back. So I think, yeah, people would just look. Oh, they're the best two teams in the comp last year. But Brisbane were better. Melbourne were better. Collingwood yeah. just lost. Yeah, by Collingwood point. and. Yeah, but, it's, it's yeah, finding its level. What we're seeing this year is what happened to our former side when they got smacked by the Tigs the following year. Mm. You tend to bottom, uh, bottom out and don't make finals. No team has won a final since early 2000s, I don't think. That's why he's the best at that stuff. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's yeah, a big yeah. stat. Are you sure you're not Sir Swamp Thing? <laughs> hey? I don't know. No, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Sir, <laughs> you never know. Sir Swamp Thing, what, what do you do for I the trust? Do, do you get paid? Do well, do I, I don't. I, 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 he's my favourite account out of anyone. Oh, Twitter, you got rid of Twitter after the. Yeah, that was Sir Swamp Thing, he comes up with all the incredible stats. Yeah. Didn't know him. I've met him. Have you? So Have you? He's, really? he's, he's a real man. So, no, <laughs> he's no, not a computer. I thought he was like AI. a Banksy type where you don't know sort of who he is. and yeah. you just What does he look like? Oh, he's actually him. quite tall, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, wears a, a Mizuno cap everywhere. Uh, yeah, oh, I thought he like, looked like a you'll Tyrus see O'Reilly for some reason. Yeah, Tyrus oh, O'Reilly. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, the, you'll, see, you'll see him. He's at a lot of um, games that we're doing calling for. In the media centre? Yeah. So, Brett, how does he get his stats? Uh, he's got his own um, filing, like, you know, like AFL stats, the AFL tables. Yeah, he makes his own. Well, he's got his own that he can just go back and check anything. Yeah. Can you get his number for next week? We'll give him a Yeah, give him a, a, a few balance. Things. You, that's as inter- that, that's that's interesting I, thing as I've heard. Can we doing click one that up? That was very, about time you sort of and done get something. A picture, oh. <laughs> get a picture of um, that's like a shadow. You don't go up. You don't go. Brought to you by. I hope you haven't got this contract for the next eight You two don't go mountain bike riding on the way. Sponsored by Canada. Hey, um, all right, before we uh, we lose Brett forever, I want to go through – uh, this is where I actually think um, Brett and Mick, you two will be very <laughs> right. oh, <laughs> we will win this. Oh, this fucking bloke. I, I know a lot of people were talk- it, I know a lot of people nah, talking bro. about Tasmania three weeks ago, but we thought we'd bring it up today three weeks later because <laughs> we, you know, it's all all the dust has been settled off the top with no preparation at all. Yep. I want to talk about cut like now. If you were to set them up for say next year or the year after, so you you can use the current batch of players. Yep. Coaches, list managers, GMs, from all your experience, obviously in the um, coaching world, in the management world, in the sunglass game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got, it's got credit. It's got Bailey Smith. Because <laughs> it's very glary up there, Trainer. It's very glary up there, mate. Okay, I'll you, don't, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I love how this bloke puts me down. He's dumb as dog shit, all right? And he's, he's having a whack. No, but it's very glary up there. I'm not participating in Tasmania anyway. <laughs> yeah, Alex yeah. Pierce's of the world. I've yeah. no interest. No interest. Who would you be picking, though, uh, player wise? A player that loves golf. Yeah, okay. Has anyone got anyone? <laughs> Who would you give us? Throw around, uh, throw around well, your top well, five. If they were to start tomorrow. You're starting a team on someone to mark and everyone's 2028 available. or tomorrow? Everyone's available as, uh, as they are now. Tomorrow for next year. This is exhilarating. Okay. Going through the rules of this. But like you no, probably, not the rules. I just said it's tomorrow for next year. Yeah, so. I like, oh, man, Alex Pierce has to get it. He loves no, it. I love Moose. We do, don't we? But I think Jack oh, yeah. Rewald's probably got a bit, bit on him in terms of the Tasmania connection. He'd be the skipper for a couple of years. Oh, I don't think he's going to be skipper. No, no he'd be, I think uh, you go down there to be yeah. in charge but of... But if next, the, next year be the do spokesperson. Do the shaking hands, yeah. kissing babies. Captain Try coach. and take a couple of clunks, <laughs> yeah. do a couple of taps and that, and that's it. Yeah. So Jack Rewald, that's mine. That's next year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good call. You need, you'll hear it. Yeah, 100%. Jack Rewald's well, been the spokesperson. What, what are you actually after here in this? Top five players you'd take next you want, year to play for Tasmania. And, and, and everyone's available. You everyone's available. They're all out of contract. All out of contract. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's an easy again. Oh, that's I'd an easy say, yeah, Marcus Bond and Pally for me mm-hmm. would be the one I'd send down there straight away. Charlie Curnow, Jezza Cameron. Oh, hang on. 
Yeah. How many do you want? Toby you Green. Said you want Toby Green. Would you pick him? Say yeah, Toby Green. Would you go full forward, centre forward, midfielder, centre half marketing. back, fullback, yeah. or would you go just marketing on pure yeah. players? Like uh, balls no, you want them to be competitive. That's the best um, marketing you can get. Bailey yeah. Smith. Yeah, you want. Yeah, you want the biggest Bombs. names there that they're going to attract players. I'd get Toby Green number Maybe. one. So Toby Green, Jesse Cameron, so he can sit next to him. Bond and Pally inside mid, and then I need two big monsters. So who's your defenders? This is the hard part. I'd take Sam Taylor from the Giants. Tom DeConing. Potentially, yeah. yeah he's he's going to play for actually. ten years. Darcy Moore. Oh yeah, he'd take him. Yeah, you need two. You need two big defenders, and then the ruck. You, yeah, you can you can find a ruck. Do you need a ruck? Nah, I oh, fuck. I'm done with ruckman. They're done. I reckon you need a ruckman. Nah, I'm done with them. Unless you oh, got um, someone who's exceptional, like the absolute cream. We mentioned Maxie Gorn, and who else would you say? Timmy English is pretty good. Mm. I reckon the rest of them. Well, Mason Cox so, is good yesterday. Yeah, he's good. He's playing forward, but I I know this is a. Lee Montagna brought this up the other day. I've been saying it for five years. I think, <laughs> I, 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 and no one's been listening, but I think. Except for Lee. Except for Lee, who's, you know, he's obviously been a big fan of the show, which we appreciate. <laughs> Ruckman, good blokes, good people. Great fellas. Great fellas. Smart. Good like, on them. Oh, yeah, yeah. To yeah. a man, they're great. Big smart. Yeah, they're great. There's a few that Love aren't. them. Needed for culture, but I makes me sick when they're signing 10 year deals. Like, I just can't, I don't get it. They get 10 years straight up. What do you They get 10 about? years. Like, Look at uh, Lee Montagna, he stole my stat, as I said, but he, he made a point that Collingwood don't have a ruckman at the moment. They're winning centre bounces, they're winning clearances. They've got clearances. some pretty good cool players underneath. Yeah, they do, they do. But like Bulldogs, the same thing when they won the flag. I just don't think they're as important as we think. Like I said, if you've got a really good one, they make a huge difference. Yeah. Tommy, what do you reckon? Mm, a, a, a Blick Avs is really important. Who? You can do, <laughs> who? Who? Who do you say his last name? Blick Avs. Blick Avs. Blick Avs. Who gives? Yeah, he's I wouldn't say he's a... had different haircut like you two Pelicans. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say he's a ruckman. But yeah, well, but he plays in the ruck and he can play in mid. So if he, I like I'd, those I'd rather a player yeah. like him than a big block. Yeah. Ground level. I'd rather, so rather a Lee Brown type. Rucks. I'd rather a Lee no, Brown type. Lee Boy Brown. Lee Brown type. You know what I got to tell Himmelberg. Harry Himmelberg. He is, because he can play both ends. And he's available. And he can play in the ruck. And he's very good on the ground. So, yeah, he'd be one of them. I'd chuck him How much does he get uh, at another club? He's going to be an interesting. He's going to yeah. be very interesting for our footy 800? club. 800? Well, it depends. Yeah, the different ways that we're finding with contracts at the moment is all um, yeah, to do with the TPP and what that what mm. it looks like. Because Remind it, Tommy what that is again. I had it in a contract. <laughs> <laughs> used to get 30%. Remember, um, <laughs> on this, I think you're talking about something different, but the market or marketing stuff, mm. <clears throat> and you used to get like, um, royalties. Yeah. And you just get a payment at the end of the year. And Did we? Again, <laughs> not so much. Yeah. A, fair, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in between. Yeah. And Lee Spur used to think if he was in the paper, like in a sports section, he'd get royalties. So he'd take a photo every time he was oh in the newspaper God, that's and send right. it Use of image. to his manager. <laughs> Use of image. That's not true, though, is it? Not in the paper. Not in the paper. No, do you know what it was I, all to do with your cut list, select cards? Yeah, so much. One day, I think it was look, shortly after I took Liz to the square, <laughs> the things were sort of exploding for me at that point. In that Melbourne, story was saturated? Quite, or no, what? no, I was quite, I was coming up, it was quite a big deal. And uh, big deal. <laughs> and, just, uh, big deal. Big deal. deal. That's a t shirt. And <laughs> big deal. Funnily enough, do you remember those little Legos? The NAB Mini yeah, Legos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they made me a life size one of them. A life size one. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Good boy. And um, yeah, don't make one of them. I got some nice royalties from that actually. <laughs> Did you? So, yeah. yeah. What did you actually get? Like genuinely, from genuinely. Legos? Like to be completely honest, I one day um, looked in my bank, and you know, money was wasn't you know great at yeah. that stage. And I remember looking at it going, I got five grand that came in. That's great. Back then, I was like twenty one. Hey, I'm not telling anyone about this because it's not meant to be. It's no, to be it was five grand, and I remember going. Clubs paid me twice. <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't say anything for ages. I was like, oh, I'm just going to like hold on to this. Didn't tell anyone because I was like, fucking idiots have paid me twice. Like, idiots. So I was like, oh, hold on. And then later in the year, I found out it was actually for that. That's brilliant. So um, That's good. Great to share that because I reckon you. no one would know that. Yeah, yeah. and that was just of a little Lego mm. um, They must thing. have sold like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a few on eBay. dollars dollars of Lego. Ducks now you can get them. <laughs> um, coach, who would you get coach, Tazzy? Oh, or just a team in general. Collingwood, co- uh, what's his? Craig Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Especially. He's a gun. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, list manager. This is where I like it. You, you deal with a lot of them? Mm. I do. I've got no, one that I've got my hand up for. They've already. got some Tasmanian connections there, isn't there, list manager? I'm, I'm going down I, the I think nostalgic we've... path. Yep. Are you, you going you to Doro? Keep... Like, well, I've got Rewalt <laughs> Captain, who's done. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoever's put West Coast list together, he's yeah. got from Tasmania. <laughs> now, see, I think that the, the problem with this is 
and I, I'm hoping they don't do this, but you can't just give any dickwad that's been from Tasmania a job for this team. So you've got to get some other people that aren't just Tasmanians to, to dickwad, run. That isn't brilliant. That's a dick, that. you're a dickwad. Um, so list yeah. manager, I'm going Kinnear Beatson. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beats is very I reckon good. he's the best in the I'd business. I'd say Graham Wright, who's in charge of Collingwood at the moment. Was Hawthorne too? Was Hawthorne, yeah. I'll go Kinnear Beats from I'll the go Swans. Kinnear, oh, well, you've taken him. But he's kept Sydney very competitive for Look at all those. Like, they anyone. do not is make it? a bad decision. <sighs> yeah, Beats is a gun. Is that who you going? I don't know enough about this space. So yeah. Blair Hartley is another one. one Richmond. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm. Put together their list. Definitely wouldn't be Fremantle or the Giants. I don't know what they're doing, getting rid of me and Buckley and you and Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should pick them. We should probably know what they're doing. Well, um, all right, we'll settle on that. And last but not least, this is probably where um, you three would know a lot about the GM. Who's a good GM that you've that yeah, at the moment manager. looking good? Footy managers. Like, I don't know a lot about them. I'd get a Simon Lloyd, who's meetings. head of coaching director, but he plays that role. So I'd well, get him there. He's been the running for some CEO jobs. Yeah, and all that, he's, hasn't he? he's got that job that looks over the whole footy operation. I'd go a um, – is a Stephen Wells? Is he in that role now too, he's GM? Head, he's nah. a head of recruiting, but isn't he going to GM now? No. Nah. They do it differently, John. No, they, they nah, they've got Andrew Mackey, who's in charge of list management right. now. Um, I think Wells, he's more in charge of head recruiting. Right. Well, but was – Loose management prior to that. I okay. think. Tough job. Pretty much. I think um, Stephen Hocking was in charge Hocking. down there, yeah. but now he's CEO. So that's right. He was. Yep. Who was Richmond's GM? Uh, it was when I was there. It was Dan Richardson. Dan Richardson. Yeah. Neil and Neil Baum before that. Neil Baum. After that, sorry. You Speak. know what happens? It's never. To be honest, it's either very good knowing the GM or not a good thing because yeah. you, you don't. They don't give great news. Nostal- like nostalgia not- for Tassie again. It's just come back to me. Chris Bond, former GM at. Freo, who's given you and me the art. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't he be good? <laughs> <laughs> what's Chad Murphy's role at the moment, Freo? What's, he, what's his role? Is he being primed for that sort of thing? No Probably. Idea. I think he's like the um, – Was he, head, was he coaching the female Guy team? Guy and does something different every day. He was coaching the female <laughs> team, work experience. Well, maybe yeah. he's just helping out. No, he does a lot of um, the leadership and he cross crosses over from yeah. um, women's to men's. Um, yeah, it does a lot of different things. Yeah. yeah, I reckon he's probably one that, yeah, let's watch your space. Great call. CEO, I'd be going Brendan Gale, 100%. Yeah. I think Tazzy Boy. I, oh, is he Tazzy Boy too, is he? Yeah. I, I just, I don't even know why. I don't know anything about being a CEO, but I think um, I love Tom Harley. Oh, yeah. I just mm. love that, that player, Port Adelaide, Geelong. I used to live right around the corner from Tommy and used to see him all the time when I lived in Balmain. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. man. Lot great of, man to talk yeah, to. Great guy. He's, he's one of probably my favourite people in footy I've, I've met. He wouldn't remember me anymore, but he was a great guy. He's yeah, a he's guy. a good call. He, he, Geelong, Sydney, those clubs always at the top, aren't yeah. they? Even like you spoke about Collingwood. So they have to come from that pool of success. Mm. Well, you, you realise once you leave footy, don't you, how we talk a lot about players and teams and listen and all that sort of shit, but the best teams are actually just the best run business. And that's like from upstairs, you know, like the the GMs, the CEOs, all those departments. It's funnily enough that actually does go to downstairs, like, mm. and they they successful for a long time. You look at those you just mentioned, Brisbane Geelong, as well. They're Brisbane, always around the finals. Brisbane, um, Hawthorne were like that, but I think something's you know. Well, West Coast, sort of, and we've talked. West, West Coast, Coast are the best club, and in, people yeah. are probably giving them a fair bit of leg rope because in their history they've won the four premier four premierships, four premierships in thirty years. Something mm. it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and they're big on kind of bringing their people back and loyal to their people. And so they are, they are a unique case study, which we've already kind of done. Yeah. Mm. I like it. They we're getting some good content here today. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anything Brett's, else? Brett's Tom- done. The- yeah, yeah, Brett's, that's that's done research. Brett's done some great stuff and I'm sad that are you still going to come back or are you done with <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, that's up to you boys. <laughs> no, <laughs> mate, we love you here. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Hey, if I get some Rixies at some stage, yeah. I mean, oh. promise them for the last four episodes. Do you have a friend's <laughs> code? I'm going to get you a pair. I'm going to use the code tonight and I'll get him a pair. I'll, I'll hold him accountable. Maybe he's going to fly a can or not. Let's let him know when it comes through. Where's your integrity? We've got no integrity, this bloke. Ask Brett your question, Trino. No, I was going to say, players out of contract at the moment, who's mm. the one they're talking about? Like, you know, there's always yeah. the um, the lists are after that play and they can't free make agents it. Or... Yeah, free agents, out of con- whatever, out of yeah. contract, everything. Well, like, Darcy Parrish is probably one of the bigger names, free agents, hasn't made his mind up yet. At oh, Essendon. so he's out of contract? Uh, him all up at the Giants. Uh, Mackay at North Melbourne. Uh, he's still testing the waters out there. Jeez, but, that's, yeah. Um, Do you know, uh, Brett, and can you explain this a little bit in depth, is I didn't realise the whole... I don't know if the whole public world knows about this, but the difference, the major difference between the free agency stuff for teams that don't have draft picks 
really need to go for free agents. So I think there's, for example, was it Fremantle this year? Because they traded all their picks away for, for Jackson. For Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yep. They can't trade for any players, so they have to go after free agents because it doesn't take picks. Yep. yep. Which is very interesting. I didn't know yeah. that. They've got to have the cap space, and then yeah, then yeah. they can't uh, do it to get a trade done. So you can but essentially, sort of, but a club can call their bluff too, then and match the bid, match them um, to make them yeah try and come up with something. But, but you anyway, can only trade so many picks. Once you know, like it's hard to get your head around that shit around trades, but once you know that, you can actually look at the clubs that are going to go. All right, I'm going to trade for draft picks. Oh, I'm going to go free agents where I don't have to give up a pick to get the player in because I don't mm. have anything. Mm. It's a it's an interesting space, but once you get Mitchy. Uh, Cleary in here he'll be yeah, able to tell it, you mate. all about that stuff yeah, well, he He's, actually taught me that um, yeah well there you go uh, <laughs> and the, the team at the moment that's interesting to watch is Gold Coast because they've got three maybe four young gun kids that they're all going to have to bring in through their academy and they're all shaping up as top uh, in the first round draft picks Gold Coast right they've got like more players on their list yep Everyone else. is that finishing soon or what I, I don't know. How we don't know. Like we don't know like 48 Yeah, 48. Know, but players don't get a game in the VFL. Don't get, me, don't get me started on Gold Coast. <laughs> I'm ready to go well, later on. You know what? I've since, got something for you. Since that rev up, rev up and um, oh, recommendation of no more lane Ironman. work and handball games. No more Ironman. Ironman. I might as well go now, boys. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Where, Where am are you? You're not in Tassie, are you? I'm not in Tassie. Where do you think I am? Oh, you could be in the Gold Coast. I'm on the Gold Coast, boys. <laughs> it's fucking bright on the Gold Coast now, isn't it? Isn't it? The sun's shining. Guess what? <laughs> They're picking the right team. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey the you future's... know the saying, look good. If you look good, you feel good. Yeah. You feel good, you play good. And then they pay good. Well, guess what? Doesn't apply on the Gold Coast. It's the other way around. It's the other yeah. way around, fellas. You pay good. And then guess what? They play good. And if you play good, you feel good. And guess fucking what? The Suns are? Shining. They're fucking dominating, us. <laughs> so shout out to Rory Atkins. Rory Atkins, mate. Rory they, Atkins. They need- Fiorini. Sexton Child. still the twos. Sexton got dropped. I was flat. <laughs> no, that, that <laughs> but, me off. You know, beggars can't be choosers. You know, you can't have all of it. I, I want the boys in every week. But they've picked the team. They've yeah. won three out of four. It was stiff. One of the boys missed a goal, but he had 30, so that's all right. We've all made mistakes in the last quarter. But, mate, the future's bright on the Gold Coast, all the right? Future's bright. Bright. So, the mate, future's bright. They need some Richies. Oh, oh, mate, the whole oh. team can have a pair if they keep playing. Oh, yeah, 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 it's on record. It's on record. If they keep playing well, I see. It's all right. They've only, now, no disrespect, but they've only played a couple of teams that are down the bottom. I want to see them against the big teams because they they're ready to go. Uh, and guess what? Tuke Miller hasn't oh, been Q-clash. playing. Guess what? The, all oh, the money's the talking. So in the next couple of weeks, Trey, we'll come back a couple of weeks, they would have had Q Clash. The Q Clash is massive. If they win the Q Clash, Rixies it'll be because right. are they getting Rixies? Of course they're going to get Rixies. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, there's 48 players on the list. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm back and I'm back in Brisbane. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm just saying I'm happy to watch the Gold Coast Suns because they're picking the right team. And guess what? Big Kingy's dominating because Chowell and all the boys are taking the other defenders out the way. So big, good boy. big, big clap to Gold yeah, Coast Suns. Big two weeks for training. Because it's, uh, it's just it's good that they're tuning in to Dylan Friends and they're listening. Mm. Um, what about, uh, and Dust might to jump on here, what about the panic attack? He called us the other day crying, <laughs> Traino. We put up his clip. Da- poor Darcy, he's trying to go home and, and switch off from the great work he does here. Yeah, he I'll cuts out the edits, he produces. <laughs> he does everything, mate. He's got the he's got producer on his fucking shoulders. Ugh. And poor Traino's crying up. Get that clip down, mate. The <laughs> Gold Coast going to kill yeah, me. Yeah, kill me, mate. Kill me, mate. Kill me, mate. Kill me, mate. Making me look bad. Jewish, Jewish well, the thing was, it was context. You didn't put the you didn't put the salary stuff in that short uh. clip. So all they heard, and a big apology. I was swearing me tits off. I should have brought some soap today, just in case. But um, uh. I was just wasn't happy with the clip. I thought there could have been a bit more in there. But anyway, they responded. Yeah, the uh, um, and Dash probably flashed the numbers down below here. Had that um clip rate in terms oh, it of went well. every clip it went that you've well. ever put up. It went uh, really gangbusters. Well. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, good for you, Bikes. I look like an absolute <laughs> idiot, but anyway. But no, it's good to see Gold Coast Suns playing these guys. Mm. I'm being serious. Like, it was, it, it's so, I don't know how obvious it was to everyone, but I just couldn't believe. And, and it's, for every club, why they're not playing the players they're paying, it, it had me, it just had me going crazy, right? And how good do nah. they look? Rory Atkins, yeah, oh. I'm mates with him, but mate, he's having 22 every week off the half back. Mm. Now, Powell's playing well. Ballard's taking all these marks. Mate, he's, they look so much better. Yeah, Ballard's always been big, but um, Rowley, he's eating grass. <laughs> Rowley's yeah. eating, up, he's he's eating eat. up his grass, hitting the easy one. I love that he ate the, ate the grass. Does he, eat it? Does he actually, this is serious. He, he does it every week. He chews it, yeah. So he chews it every week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's a ritual. Yeah. Yeah. It's a ritual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna bring in some turf today, boys, and I was gonna open it up because you know the big horse teeth. I was gonna jump at it, but I couldn't, I couldn't find that premium turf. I didn't want to eat the dirt. 
I was going to bring it in and go, are you boys hungry? And <laughs> that would have been good. Oh, I like fuck. the pre-planning of the show, boys. Next week, maybe we all come dressed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We'll see how you go. Brett's got a surprise for us. Um, anything else? <laughs> uh, Brett wants to get dressed up now. Oh. <laughs> Any, anything else, boys, before we finish up? What do you got for us? Uh, I've got done? a question to all of you, because yeah, this is going to be getting quite weird doing this every two weeks, three weeks. Yep. Tell me who your biggest slider is and who your biggest improver is, out of the eight and in the eight. No, what about like just a who's a big two weeks for and then we can come back and you got to make a call if they're because right now right top three bottom three yep everyone in between Park Giants kind of mm. but there's it, teams it, going it, like there's, there's, a, there's as you said there's a big couple of weeks coming give up me, give me a team in that middle block that is going to announce themselves next yep. two and a team that will denounce I think Carlton will push up you okay. reckon they'll go well, oh, I hope go, they do they, they got Collingwood this week but I wish I hate but I reckon they're coming they're still fine the thing is Carlton play good against the good teams they struggle it's a free against hit because they're not. There's no expectation. Yeah, I think Carlton will be fine. Um, we'll just on that, let's oh. um, give us a call, leave a voice message, and we'll play a little bit of SEN Talkback next week. How about that? And just oh, sort of, that's uh, one of the employers. Yeah, set the. Uh, but it's a big see? month for Gold Coast because if they keep winning without two, <laughs> how's us? We're really breaking the news on. See all these other outlets. I talk about Carlton, Richmond. It. We talk about West, West Coast, Coast and, Gold and Gold Coast. That eight forty game and on a bit of, and a bit of free man well, on the Sunday the big, afternoon. Talk about the big clubs quickly. Go. Geelong's back? No. Nah, They're back. Well, do you think? Who's, who's up done. and who's down? Geelong's up. Who can win at this year? You just said um, Carlton are up. Yeah, coming up. So they'll push back up. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, Carlton, you Carlton. Get one. one up, one down, Trey. That's the all right, thing. St. Kilda down. All right, well done. Yep. And Carlton up. Um, out of all the teams, let me just get the ladder up, all the teams that are out, I'll stick to Carlton. Carlton will be in the eight. You reckon they'll finish in the eight or they'll in two weeks? Eighth. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um, I will go St. Kilda will really dip. Yep. Yep, they're going to dip, 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 dip a roo. Um, Hey, I'm gonna last chance to learn for the Giants. In the next two weeks, they'll still be alive. In two weeks' time, their season will be alive. Mm. You reckon? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, Toby will be hopefully back very shortly, and that uh, that always adds He's about a four goals, fifteen goals, yeah, so, yeah. or twelve, yeah, 14, 20, yeah. 14 to fifteen game, goals. Um, so I'm gonna go for my team out of the eight. Port Adelaide. No, oh, we're slipping yeah. from fourth. Yep. Oh. No, not out of the eight. No, like, no, no, I'm saying they're, next they're going weeks, down. They'll garbage, be, they'll garbage. Be down. Two weeks. A great um, segment, by the way. Hey, who tell it, can we play that clip again? Who said Port Adelaide and Adelaide before the year? Yeah, play the clip. <laughs> you, said, you said Port Adelaide. I said both of them, so I'm killing it. And uh, am I still in Hawthorne? No, I'm not in Hawthorne anymore. No, definitely not. Be not top three, not bottom three. Yeah. Okay, oh, Richmond, so Richmond, back on track. <laughs> Jeez. Back on track. Oh, I can't believe the Swans are 14th. That's crazy. Oh, they're bad. There's a bit of work to go. Didn't here. you listen to my snap before? That's you what did. Happens. You did. I just can't believe it. I yeah. can't believe it, Brett. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, say, I'm gonna say, say am I allowed to have a chat? Sorry, man. I was, I was just finishing mine. Yeah, one up, one down. I can't remember. Yeah, down is Port Adelaide and up is Richmond. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, going Saints down, Richmond up as well. Okay. I think the Tigs are uh, just starting to find it. They get some players back. Yeah. Yep. One last thing on the Gold Coast. If you beat Brisbane, if you listen here, boys. If you beat when's when's the Q clash this weekend? If you all oh, no. <laughs> pull your finger out this week and you beat Brisbane, wow. I will at the Gabba. personally deliver. <laughs> how many players on this list? There's like only seventy. There's seventy <laughs> pairs of Ritz eyewear. I'll walk them in. I probably won't walk them in because I'm not welcome there. I will hand pack them. I'll write hand notes and I will send you all a premium pair of Ritz premium. eyewear. Chuck me them. Let me put them on. To These show are the Tribeckers. I'll send you all a pair. All right. So if you beat. <sighs> If you're Pete yeah. Brisbane, I'll send you all a pair of Ricks. My business partner's going to kill me. <laughs> Dylan Friends Code, make sure you check it out. Hey, boys, so good to see you Great again. Great to see you, mate. Um, enjoy. Uh, We've got the Suns 2s this week. Yeah, got the Suns 2s. Oh, I was going to do a running for you, but I've got a run for Sydney. The Suns 2s. Well, guess what? All the players are playing in the ones that are getting paid, so you'll be no, you'll be a big chance there, Mickey. Thanks, Appreciate it. <laughs> see you soon, boys. Yeah. Who's their players? Big shout out to Amy.